It's a document that could shape the future of their country. If these representatives vote in its favor, U.S. forces could remain in Afghanistan for years. The two and a half thousand elders from around the nation have divided into smaller committees to debate each point in the proposed security pact with the United States. Here, some point out that they need a partnership with the U.S. to get their economy back on track. We have lost our basic infrastructure and now investment is leaving the country and people are deprived of education now. People are dying and their blood is shed. We need a strong ally. We don't have an example of a country that has a protocol with the U.S. and has not benefited from it. Many women in these rooms are fearful for their future. They say if the U.S. leaves, hardliners could gain power. The area where the government of Afghanistan doesn't have a control over there. Already we lost some, some of women activists, they killed by the Taliban, assassination of women are raised recently. And so it's great concern that if Afghanistan again fall to the hand of the extremists and, um, you know, war liners and, and the, the, the conservative group, of course women's situation will be, will be terrible. But not everyone here sees U.S. forces as good for the country. If I sign this agreement with America and give them power, then I cannot show my face to God. God created me and I am a Muslim. I am a follower of Prophet Muhammad and I am a servant of Islam. I don't want infidels. As the lawyer Jirga begins its work, the document in question will be debated by the delegates trusted to vote on it. But their work has been overshadowed by a disagreement that began on Thursday when Afghan President Hamid Karzai said he wouldn't sign the agreement until next year, leaving the delegates unsure of the final results of their work. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, Kabul, Afghanistan.